Hello, this is Joe Angelo, service technician here at TACSTAR. We have completely re-engineered our shotgun grips for Mossberg and Remington shotguns. First, I'm going to show you how to install our new one-piece pistol grip forend on the Mossberg 500, 590, and Maverick 88 shotguns. The first step is to be sure that the shotgun is unloaded. Second, remove the barrel by unscrewing the barrel screw located at the end of the magazine tube and pull the barrel free from the receiver. Next, remove the old forend assembly from the shotgun. This requires removal of the trigger assembly and the bolt. Please refer to your Mossberg instruction manual for disassembly information. New action bars are supplied and will need to be installed into the new forend. Using the old forend and action bars as a guide, slide the matching action bar into the slot in the end of the new forend. Note that the bars are different between the right hand side and the left hand side. Once the correct bars are in place, install the two supplied shoulder screws into the counterboard holes in the forend and through the holes in the end of the action bars. Tighten them snugly, but do not apply heavy torque to the screws. Slide the new forend with the action bars onto the magazine tube and reassemble the action following your Mossberg instruction manual. To install the Mossberg rear grip, remove the butt plate or recoil pad from the stock. Insert a long, flat blade screwdriver into the hole in the rear of the stock and remove the long stock screw. Remove the stock from the shotgun and replace it with a new pistol grip using the supplied cap screw. The pistol grip has a molded loop for sling attachment if desired. Next, we will install the one-piece Remington 870 4-end pistol grip. Again, first, be sure that the shotgun is unloaded. Remove the barrel by unscrewing the magazine end cap or extension and pulling the barrel free of the receiver. Be careful, the magazine spring may be released when the end cap or extension is removed. Next, with slight forward pressure being applied to the forend, depress the primary shell stop. You will feel the forend in slide assembly move forward slightly. Depress the secondary shell stop, which allows the bolt and the forend to be removed from the shotgun. Please refer to your Remington instruction manual for further detail if needed. Set the bolt assembly aside. Using the supplied T-wrench, unscrew the forend nut and remove the forend. Be sure not to bend the forend's action bars. Slide the new forend onto the inner forend tube and securely tighten the forend nut in place. You are now ready to assemble your shotgun by reversing the previous instructions. To install the Remington rear grip, Remove the butt plate or recoil pad from the stock. Insert a long, flat blade screwdriver into the hole in the rear of the stock and remove the long stock screw. Remove the stock from the shotgun and replace it with a new pistol grip using the supplied cap screw. The pistol grip has a molded loop for sling attachment if desired. Thank you for choosing TACSTAR, a division of Lyman Products. Please visit us online at LymanProducts.com and like us on Facebook. And remember, if you have a question about any of your alignment products, just ask Joe.